Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com and I wanted to make this quick video to go over the Yoast SEO WordPress plugin 20.0 update that recently rolled out in January of 2023. Yoast introduced some pretty big changes to the user interface that affects how you interact with some features, including the XML sitemap. And I've been getting a lot of comments and emails regarding this change, so I figured I'd make a video to outline the update and go over how to access and make an XML sitemap for your WordPress website or blog. Now, this video won't be a deep dive into the plugin's features. However, I am working on a more in-depth tutorial that will take a closer look at the new Yoast SEO 20.0 update. So be sure to subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, so that you can be the first to know when that video is live. But as I said, this video will be an overview of some of the changes that were made to the Yoast SEO plugin during the most recent update. Specifically, we're gonna go over how to navigate the new settings, and I'll walk you through creating and verifying your XML sitemap, as well as show you how to submit it to Google. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so within your WordPress dashboard, you're still going to access the Yoast general settings the same way by hovering your mouse over Yoast SEO on the left-hand side of the screen, and clicking on general. This will bring you to the plugins general settings where you'll see that some things have changed. And to help illustrate that, let's pull up the previous version of the Yoast general settings and compare it to the 20.0 update. I'm a visual learner, so hopefully seeing the different versions compared to one another will give you a better idea of what's been changed and how to get around. So on the left-hand side of the screen, we have the updated version of the Yoast general settings. And then on the right-hand side is the previous version. For starters, you can see that they've reduced the number of tabs within the general settings. There are now two tabs instead of five, and they've basically consolidated the features and Webmaster Tools tabs, as well as the search appearance and social menu items, so that they all live in the settings menu item within the updated version. Then the integrations tab has been moved to its own menu item, and the tools, premium, and workout menu items are still there, but Yoast has added a new redirects menu item, which is part of their premium feature set that you can access if you buy the premium version of Yoast. And I don't think I've pointed this out yet, but I'm using the free version of the plugin in this video. Either way, that's the basic rundown of how the general settings have been updated. Then it used to be that you would click the features tab to access the sitemap generator, but as we just went over, the features tab now lives within the settings of the new version of Yoast. So to access the plugin features, Within the sidebar menu under Yoast SEO, click on Settings. And this will bring you to the new and improved Yoast Settings menu. And as you can see, they've made some major adjustments to the interface that completely rethinks how users interact with it. I'm actually a big fan of this because you no longer have to click on multiple tabs to access various pages of settings. The updated version of Yoast uses this card style interface that keeps things concise and easy to navigate. And they also added some graphic design and digital art to each feature, making it much more enjoyable than the plain text that they used to use. Now, as I said a little earlier, we're not gonna do a deep dive on all of these settings. That's what my upcoming Yoast tutorial will cover, but let's at least do a quick overview of the new interface before we cover how to access your XML sitemap. So the new settings interface can be broken down into two sections. Towards the left, there's a sidebar menu. This contains four main setting categories. There's general, content type, categories and tags, and advanced, and then each main category has various subcategories below it associated with each one. Then on the right is the new card interface. Each card, which represents a feature, contains an explanation of each feature that you can toggle on and off with the switch. There's also a learn more link within each card that takes you to Yoast's website that explains each one in greater detail. Super helpful. Another thing I wanna point out is that if you see a card that is grayed out, that means this feature hasn't been enabled. But when you flip the switch to turn it on, the card will change to a colored image and the switch will be purple, indicating that it's been enabled. Okay, so those are the basics of the new updated version of Yoast's interface. Hopefully you found it helpful. I think this new UI is great and it really helps the overall user experience when it comes to configuring the plugin. So with that being said, let me show you how to create your sitemap with the plugin. So staying in the featured section, if we scroll down to the very bottom, to the API category, you'll see the XML sitemaps card. Now by default, it should be turned on, but if it isn't, just flip that switch to enable it. Then to access your sitemap, 
simply click the View the XML Sitemap button, and this will take you to your site's XML Sitemap. Now, it doesn't look like much, but trust me, this is very important to your site. An XML sitemap is a file that lists a website's essential pages, making sure Google and other search engines can find and crawl them all. It also helps search engines understand your website structure. You want Google to crawl every important page on your site. So all in all, having a sitemap is very important if you want to be found on the search engines. Next, we want to check the validity of the sitemap. So copy the URL of the sitemap in your browser. So I'll highlight it and then click Command C on my keyboard. Then head over to xml-sitemaps.com and I'll put a link to this in the video description below. Then from here within the primary nav, click on the SEO tool menu item. Then within the validate XML section, click on that validate XML sitemap link. Then simply paste the sitemap URL that you just copied in the field provided. Click the Validate Sitemap button, and the tool will check if your sitemap is formatted correctly. And success, it is, no issues detected, perfect. Now remember this doesn't automatically guarantee that your site will be on the search engine results. You still have to submit the sitemap to the search engines. This is different for each search engine, but the most common search engine is by far Google, and the way to notify Google is through your Google Search Console. Now, if you don't have a Google Search Console account, no worries, it's free, and I have a step-by-step -step tutorial that shows you how to set it up and verify your domain so that you can begin to leverage this tool to enhance your search engine presence. So, if you don't have a Google Search Console account, I highly recommend that you watch my other tutorial so that you can set it up properly before submitting your sitemap. Either way, once you have your Google Search Console account and you have verified your domain with Google, this is how you'll submit your sitemap. So what you're looking at right now is the Google Search Console dashboard. This is what you'll use to do things like submit your sitemap. So in order to do that, on the left-hand side of the screen, simply click on where it says Sitemaps. Then where it says Add a new sitemap, simply paste the URL that you just copied from Yoast a few moments ago, and click the Submit button. This will ping Google and let their search engine bots know that your site is ready to be crawled. And then you may get a pop-up. You can go ahead and click Got It to close this out. And you can see here that the sitemap has been successfully submitted. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. I know that at times it seems like technology is always changing, but that is the nature of the WordPress world. However, when there are updates like this, it usually seems annoying at first, but it almost always makes things easier and helps you become a more efficient blogger and site owner. Finally, if you have any questions or need some extra assistance, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments or just send me an email. I'm always happy to help out. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, now that you've started your blog, check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll help you grow your audience and earn a passive income with your blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.